Rachel. This is my husband, Malachi. We own an inn here in Bethlehem, and we have never been so busy. All the inns and hotels in this area are full, and we have many lodgers here. A young man came to our door today to ask for lodging, but I had to tell him there was no room. They had already tried every inn in Bethlehem, and the man seemed very anxious. I saw that the girl was going to have a baby, though. So I asked my husband if they could stay in our stable. He agreed. At least it would be warm there. The stable is in the back of our house. And it wasn't much, but it was the best we could offer. I asked my wife to bring them some food and show them the way. They told me their names were Joseph and Mary. You may be wondering about Mary and Joseph and why they came here to Bethlehem. To tell that story, we need to go back in time about 2,000 years ago in a little town in the northern part of Galilee, a town called Nazareth. Mary said Miriam will tell you what happened. Shalom, my name is Miriam. I live in Nazareth, not far from the well, where the women go to draw water for cooking and washing. That's where I met Mary. She is my best friend and we tell each other everything. She is betrothed to a handsome boy named Joseph and they will be married in a year. There's a lot of talk about the coming of the Messiah these days. The people have been looking forward to his coming for centuries, but there's a special feel of expectancy now. A few months ago, Mary came to me with this news. She said a messenger from God, an angel, had a wonderful announcement. Mary was confused and afraid, but the angel said, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and bear a son and give him the name Jesus. He will be great. He will be son of the Most High. God will seat him at the throne of his father, David, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will have no end. You can imagine the thoughts racing through Mary's mind. How will this be? Joseph and I are only betrothed. We won't be married for a year. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come over you with the power of the Most High. Because of this, your son will be holy. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. Everyone then went to register himself, each to his own hometown. Joseph went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to the town of Bethlehem in Judea, the birthplace of King David. With Joseph was Mary, his opposed wife, who was great with the child. And so it was that while they were there, the time came for Mary to have her baby. She gave birth to her firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were, in the same country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. An angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone over them. They were terribly afraid, but the angel said to them, don't be afraid. I bring you tidings of good joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born, this day, in the city of David, a Savior, just Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the baby, wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God of the highest, and on earth peace. Good will toward men. Let us go unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord has made known unto us. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and saw the baby lying in the manger. When the shepherds saw him, they told them what the angel had said about the child. All who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said. Mary remembered all these things and pondered them in her heart. When the shepherds returned home, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, it had been just as the angel had told them. The baby was named Jesus. The angel had called to him before he was conceived by the womb. God's gift of his son was not just for some people. Jesus was a gift for the whole world. So God placed his star in the sky to announce his birth. Some of the people that saw that star far away and followed it to see what it meant. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he, born king of the Jews? 
We have seen a star from the east, and we have come to worship him. And so they left, and on their way they saw the same star that sat in the east. It went ahead of them until it stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they came to the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. They opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and he will be our ruler. He shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace.